Simon Cosmetics video from me, Lisa Astoria. Lovely to see you again and I hope you enjoy this video. Every Sunday I do my makeup and I talk about crime, true crime, and I talk about serial killers, murderers, bad things that happen, just true crime stories. This story is going to be a very sad story and a very tragic story, shocking as well. Um, never heard of a story like this before. Very, very sad. Um, I mean, no disrespect to any of the families or any of the victims involved in any of my stories. It's just for entertainment purposes and getting the story out there, um, especially if sometimes they're unsolved crimes or whatever. You never know. Could help. I don't know. Well, anyway, I will put a disclaimer up first because this video will contain very graphic images of crime scenes and might be dead bodies and things like that so uh, discretion is advised and it might not be suitable for younger viewers. My daughters are like from the age of 10 because I'm so obsessed with crime, they're obsessed with crime so they watch everything I watch obviously with me but it might not be suitable for some audience members younger. So, let's get into the story. This is about a girl, 19 year old girl, named Knika Jenkins. And she was found, apparently, she was in a freezer. She apparently walked into this freezer and she died in the freezer. So it's a really sensitive case. There's loads of theories and people talking on YouTube and online and, you know, everywhere in the news and that, that she... There's also theories. So some say she walked into the freezer, you know, and she was drugged up and whatever, she was in, in her right mind. Absolutely stunning, pretty girl. Or went out with her friends um, to a hotel called the Crown Plaza Hotel for a party in the... Uh, room we all booked a room and she ended up walking into the freezer and she died in the freezer there's loads of conspiracies on what actually did happen you know some believe that she was led into the freezer i've been right through the video quite a few times and some people say they spot different things going on but I just think that she's really she's either really drunk or really drugged up it's just so so sad so one minute she's partying having fun and drinking dancing having the time of her life and like not so long after then, she, she's in this freezer and it's just such a, oh, it's such a hard one. I, you know, why didn't somebody see a hotel staff? Because like I've been to hotels and the security is quite strict in a hotel. I mean, if you go outside, I mean, you go outside have some fresh air or you go for something to eat to come back in the hotel I mean right on the clock 24 hours there's somebody on reception watching the cameras watch going who's going in and out you've got to ring the bell and different things you know to 
get in and see who you are and see what room you got. I just, I just don't get how nobody seen her actually walk into a fridge, like, you know. But we'll break it down and let's say you have theories in the comments down below and let me know what you think because I'd love to hear what you think about the story. At 11 a.m. Sorry. At 11 p.m. Kanika, driving her mother's car, arrived at the hotel, the Crown Plaza in, in Illinois, in America. And she was with three of her friends in the car. Yes, it's <laughs> met other friends in the hotel and they partied for two hours all together in the hotel there was quite a lot of people in and out the hotel and she looked like she was having an awesome time I mean if you've seen look at the video of her you can you can really see that she was 19 year old at the time of her life. I would turn so, things can turn so tragic. It's just absolutely shocking. So, two hours after, which would be around 1 one thirty in the morning, one of our friends posted a video to, to the social media, and apparently, there was like dodgy things being said in the background apparently a man says we're gonna murder somebody but i've watched the video and it does it does sound like that but can't be 100 percent there's something on there as well to say about they just raped somebody or they just raped knick or something something to that to that level and this was whilst th this friend this friend of Kanika and this boy both friends of Kanika were in this party this is when this was being posted at the time of the party yeah and it also shows in the video that uh, Irene the girl's name is the, the friend um, Apparently, you can hear Kanika saying, help me. So, I don't know. It does sound a bit squeaky in the video, but it can be somebody who just added, added it onto the video. You know, trying to make something out of it. So, around about this time that the, the video was posted, it couldn't have, I don't think it could have been true because... Well, it couldn't have been. Because whether it was pre-recorded or live, I'm not sure. But there was another video on social media of Kanika partying and having a whale of a time. Looking gorgeous. Double denim, bra, hair, gorgeous. Looking lovely. And having the time of her life laughing, joking. Drink it. I think she was drinking. They did say that um, when her body was found, that well, not when her body was found, when her autopsy was done, that she didn't have um, much drink in her system. But it just makes it even more weird then because of the way she acted when she was walking from the hotel. So. Because she was, she didn't have her wits about her when she was walking around the hotel. Because she was stumbling, and like as if she was really dizzy or high on drugs. And I'll put the video in by her so you can see what she was like when she was walking around the hotel. So between. What was it? Maybe half past two 
and three this happened My daughter's friend brought me my truck and her cell phone and they stated to me that they can't find my daughter. I also want to know what happened. I want to see all, I want to see her actually walking into this freezer and closing us up within this freezer and freezing to death. But I want to know what's on these videos. If there's some video that shows her walking into a freezer, I want to see that. She's clearly walking around, stumbling around, and her friends are with her, you know, old and her. Obviously she, obviously, she must be drunk or she must be on some sort of drug, maybe, or something. There's, there's no reason why you would stumble around and act like, you know, like it is in this video. If it was if you had a normal head. So four o'clock in the morning was the time that her friends, because if I be honest with you, I don't think they were very good friends because I've been out with friends loads of times and no way would I, like as you see in the video, they leave her, leave her go on her own so that they can get her stuff for her but if he was I mean if I see my friend acting like that no way would I leave them on their own I mean it was quite it was a few girls eh so I mean if it was just one friend maybe and she didn't want to go to the room back to the room for some reason or whatever and I can understand why, you know, they might leave her, but you still wouldn't, I wouldn't, you know, it's just awful, terrible, how can you just leave her, you know, surely somebody could have stayed with her and gone with her to get her stuff, gone, stayed with her while the other ones went to get her stuff, so... I don't believe that story. I think that's just ridiculous. Apparently they left in the middle of the night, the friends, and they just left her there in the hallway in the middle of the night after going looking for her staff or whatever and then taking her phone with them, leaving her there on her own walk through the old raids like that and apparently just not being able to find her so five o'clock in the morning an hour after the friends had phoned Kanika's mother to tell her that they couldn't find Kanika she went to the hotel and you know looking for her trying to find out if anybody would seen anything you know obviously cameras and stuff was anybody talking to her, the security people that were in the hotel, if there was security people, obviously they weren't doing their job, to not notice her walking around the way she was. Uh, I still don't understand why the friends left in the middle of the night. 
because they paid for a hotel room and they didn't stay there they come back in the middle of the night why would they do that you know kids partying allowed out all night to stay in the hotel and party and come on I just don't get that story so the, when the mother Kika's mother went to the hotel she asked them at the hotel could they had they seen her could they look at footage or whatever you know to try and locate where her daughter was or where she'd been and they said that first of all they wasn't unable they wasn't able to um look at the footage because they were changing shifts and blah de blah de blah you know it was just a big too much of a big deal for them it was like as if they didn't really want to he want to help back so some people had they did look around the hotel and they went up to the room where they were part they been partying and somebody had come out and said that they'd they had seen Kanika and the, the people she was partying with but that was like earlier I was so it was just like no sign of her at all so there goes mother rang the police and said to the police like my daughter's gone partying when I was partying last night and she's come to this hotel which I'm at now and there's no sign of her nobody can find her and the police were like oh no it's all right um you know give it a couple of hours now don't don't do anything drastic yet give it give it time she could be with her friends she could have gone somewhere with her friends even after Kanika's mother saying that no she couldn't be with her friends because obviously she'd spoke with her friends she also told the police that her daughter apparently the friends had said that she had had one drink at the party so but she said it just doesn't seem it doesn't seem right there's something wrong something's not not right like it's just it's it's not normal and there definitely is something wrong because she just knew like she could smell rat she knew there was something not right and she also said that the family like Kanika and some of the other family they just they were known to not not be able to like handle the drink at all you know one sip of a drink and it really go to their head they just apparently it was the same throughout the family and apparently when Kanika's mother was asking for the cameras to be looked at the staff took it upon themselves to ring the police themselves and basically say that Kanika's mother was being a nuisance and keeping on and you know they just didn't need it it wasn't good for the look on the hotel and you know when other people were staying there and she was like kicking up her fuss to look at the cameras I just think it's ridiculous absolutely disgusting why they didn't just leave her have a look at the cameras you know were they hiding something <sighs> why would you stop somebody from looking for their child you know you do everything to help it wouldn't matter about how the hotel looks you know you it's best to like look good and show yourself as, as if you are helping to you know try and find this girl so on september the 10th Kanika's body was discovered in the freezer of a hotel and 
I put some photos up to show you. The following photos are very graphic. And she was found laying on the floor and her body was frozen solid. There was no uh, no trauma to the body, no injuries of like a foul play, you know, like such as being stabbed or strangled or anything like that, no bruising, nothing. The only thing, lost my brush. Only thing was, she died of hypothermia. And that's what the toxicology report said. Now what I don't understand is, in the crime scene pictures, you clearly see Knika's body, but like one minute is a legs on the on the floor, and then the next the next picture like a leg is up, and then another picture then a face is you know you can see a face. Another, another picture that is all over her face. So, who, who's messed with these pictures? Because somebody has obviously messed with them. Not messed with pictures, messed with her body. For her body to be in these positions, to have the photos. Surely, you take the photos as, you know, you take the crime scene photos as they seen, as the body is seen, and as everything in the room or place as it is. I don't understand why there's these photos out there that her body was moved. And I also say with hypothermia, your body will be freezing to the point where you will feel boiling hot and you might start thinking that you're sweating and start stripping off. I don't know, it's, it's a strange thing. It was just so, so sad when they finally decided to actually view the footage because they had to view it, obviously, because they'd found her body. I think that was the only way they allowed the footage, you know, the cameras to be looked at. Uh, clearly she seems okay at 12 o'clock and then at between half past two and three something actually really went wrong so as you can see I walk it through you know, uh, as the friends left her and she's walking through the hotel or should I say stumbling through the hotel, nearly she had to grab onto the rails, like she would have been on the floor otherwise. You know, you look at this footage and think, oh, you know, what did, what was going through the mother's head? I mean, it must have been, oh, I just don't, don't bear to believe. I don't bear thinking about. It is absolutely awful. So I do think another thing as well inside the freezer was a, a catch. So actually, if we do go inside the freezer and the workers are in there and the door actually does close, then there's a catch inside that you can actually pull and it'll release the door. But obviously she wouldn't know that. She wasn't working there, was she? Only workers would probably know that, unless you'd seen one before and you knew that that's why you had to do it. But she was, she was so out of it, she wouldn't have been able to think of pulling that catch anyway. Would she have been able to actually pull the catch? 
they did say as well that this door, the catch on the door to actually get in the freezer. And hang on now, I'm missing out a big part here. This kitchen that she walks into, which this freezer is in, actually isn't even being used by the hotel. So, why is it even open? How is it that people can go in and walk straight through, you know, people who are staying at the hotel just walk in and be allowed to do what they wanted inside the kitchen. I was it on? I was the freezer on for a start if it wasn't being used. I just don't get it. I really don't. And they also said that the freezer on the outside to actually get into the open the freezer door was a latch the door was really heavy and the latch was really hard to open and this is what the police said so they don't understand how she was in that state anyway and she managed to open the door pull the latch open the door and actually get inside it so i don't know so this is where you know the other story comes in did somebody follow her somebody telling her to go in there you know because obviously she's walking up on her own but where the kitchen is where the freezer is there's no cameras you can't see it and there was somebody who said as well that in some of the footage because if we would look into um tree gang projections this is on youtube if you look into the uh, um youtube videos they got quite a lot on her and on this story were they trying to find out trying to help find out what actually did happen to her and they they say a lot of things on there and there's a video they show of these two men that are yapping and talking and it seems like as if they up to something strange and that is round about i think the time that all this was going on so I don't know, and the hotel, I didn't, not hide in the footage, well they did really, didn't they, because they didn't want to, they didn't want to give it up. So I don't know, but I would like to hear your comments, and you, what you've got to say, what you think did actually happen, because everybody got their own opinions on this story. This story has been going on for a long time, and it's still not solved, so let me know what you think. I hope you like my makeup. I don't know, I think I was going for a mad 60s style today. I'm not sure. So, I will see you in my next video. I've loved having you. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>